friends let us know the construction of dividing a line segment internally in a certain ratio for dividing a line segment in a certain ratio let us consider the example that i have written in white on the screen to divide a line segment of length 7.6 cm in 5 is to 8 ratio so for that purpose let us first draw a line segment of length 7.6 cm for uh, this construction there are two methods i will be adopting one of the methods in one of the methods or according to one of the methods we have to draw parallel acute rays one above and another below the line segment ab so one of the acute ray we will draw and another parallel acute ray we will construct so at uh, one of the ends i'm drawing one acute ray and uh, the other one we have to do the construction yeah so for that let us take a circular and we will construct alternate interior angles as a result the lines will be parallel so i'm constructing the angle yeah so first uh, yeah so one arc at a and take the pointer and place it at another end and uh, with the same radius let us have one more arc so we have two arcs now we have to construct the angle below uh, let us first name the angle so name of the line segment is uh, ab and the acute ray below is the ax so we have to construct an acute ray parallel to ax above at b so uh, we have to construct alternate interior angles now let us place the pointer at this location where the yellow line has uh, intersected the red line and measure this angle how to measure the angle use your circular and put the pointer and pencil between these two locations when you put the pointer and pencil at these two locations you can measure how much is the angle uh, we should not use scale otherwise we will not know the radius for knowing the radius we are putting the pointer and pencil at this location and uh, let me just extend this a bit forward so that uh, we do the work with a lot of accuracy and once we have uh, measured this angle i'll put the pointer at uh, this location now where you are where you are seeing on the screen and uh, cut the previous arc now use your ruler and uh, join b to the point of intersection of these two arcs and go straight yeah and i'll use the same color for this acute ray also since these two are parallel that will be an indication kind so this is the other acute ray and let us send the ruler back and uh, now we have the parallel acute rays now look into the ratio in which we have to divide ab the ratio is a 5 is to 8 now keenly observe the ratio 5 is to 8 5 comes first so name of the line segment is ab so at the acute ray at a five divisions at the acute ray at b eight divisions and the division should be equal divisions so we'll take the circular and uh, with a certain radius radius can be anything in fact so at uh, a i place the pointer and uh, i will mark five equal divisions so the first one yeah the first then the second then the third the fourth 
and the fifth. So, five equal divisions which we will uh, label as uh, A1, A2, A3 like that A5 and at the acute ray at B, we will mark eight equal divisions. So, the first one, Yeah, the first one is a done. Now the pointer should be placed properly. The second one, the third, the fourth, yes. Then the fifth division and uh, the other divisions, five is done, three more. So, before doing that, this part, let me finish off the <clears throat> labeling part. So, let us, uh, let me label the first uh, arc or division as A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5 and the ray extends in fact, but we have the point of intersection. And here this is a B1, B2, B3, B4 and uh, this time I'll just uh, go a bit up because uh, the remaining arcs of division also we have to show. So B4 then uh, B5 I'm just writing here B5 and B6, 7, 8 we have to do. For that, I extend this line segment uh, at B and uh, with the same color, I will extend this. Let's see. We'll do the work with a bit perfection. Let's see. Right. Okay. And uh, the same color, same thickness. Right. Okay, and uh, yeah, so back to the circular, uh, the fifth division is uh, done, now the sixth division, yeah, yes, exactly, six, and then then 7 and then the 8th division. Okay, I just zoom in the page so that the 8th division can be seen. Exactly, the 8th division we have done and uh, so, uh, we have written up to B5. So, the remaining labeling also let us finish. So, this is uh, B6, B7 and B8. So, we are in the last step of uh, doing our construction. To divide the line segment AB in the certain ratio, we will join b8 to a5 so i'll start from b8 and extend the scale to reach a5 exactly and uh, okay and uh, let us join B8 to A5. In fact, uh, this line is not important. The complete line is not important. Only the point of intersection of this line with AB. That is more important. So, let us name the point of intersection of B8 and A5 with AB as C. 
so point c divides ab in 5 is to 8 ratio so c is the point that divides ab in the ratio and how does it divide just watch angle a c a 5 is equal to angle b c b 8 why why because they are vertically opposite angles which are always equal and angle c a a 5 c a a 5 is uh, equal to angle c b b 8 these are alternate interior angles which are equal we have done the construction to have a x parallel to b y the acute ray at b is a b y so because we have a pairs of equal angles for the two triangles that you see in the diagram we will say that angle uh, we will say that triangle a c a 5 is similar to triangle b c b 8 by angle angle similarity and because the triangles are similar we can write the corresponding parts are proportional so a c by c b c location i hope you have seen clearly c is this point on the line segment a b so a c by c b is uh, a a 5 by b b 8 the corresponding parts are proportional why because corresponding sides of similar triangles the triangles are similar and a a 5 is actually 5 division and b b 8 is 8 division so hence we have a c by c b is a 5 by 8 and what does this mean its meaning is a c is 2 c b is a 5 is to 8 and hence therefore the point c divides point c divides line segment a b line segment a b in 5 is to 8 ratio and hence the construction